Our first mission is in this place called al -Assad, you know, where we're running this prisoner of war camp. And our duties were to keep people on sleep deprivation. Like in such a cruel way that it's even hard to, to believe that, that, that we were doing that, you know, but we were doing it and, and I personally wasn't questioning it. Um, I was questioning it within myself. But I wasn't telling anybody we shouldn't be doing this. I was very afraid. This whole rhetoric about with us or against us or, you know, being patriotic and, you know, bringing those responsible for 9-11 to justice does not only work with politicians in Congress or like the majority of Americans or like public opinion. No, it works with the soldiers too, you know. And it gets to a point, it works so well that it gets to a point where if you question anything, you can be seen as a traitor a coward, unpatriotic, un-American. And, you know, when you're in a situation like that where everybody's doing something, for you to just basically be generous about something or just act like a human being and say, listen, you know, that's a person you're kicking. You know, that's a person you're keeping away for 72 hours. It makes you the bad guy. You know, you're in an environment where, you know, speaking out you know for other people's rights civil and human rights makes you you know a traitor camilo while on leave from iraq went awol at home and decided he couldn't return to combat he ended up jailed as a result it was one of the uh, most difficult decisions that i have made perhaps the, the the hardest decision i've made in my life to not go back to iraq but at the same time, you know, everybody has a conscience and I cannot make my decisions based on other people's conscience or based on other people's feelings about a particular war. You can say that you're fighting for one another all you want, but at the end of the day, you still don't belong in Iraq. At the end of the day, the people who are paying for this war are innocent Iraqis, are innocent soldiers.